Hi everyone and welcome to the, the meme YouTube channel where we meme up on some memes. Hosted by the best, best teeth, teeth in, in the, the fucking, fucking game. game! You know who it is? You know what we're doing here? You've already seen the title. I'm gonna be listing out the top best and worst memes of 2016, a retrospective list where we look back on the past 365 days of internet cancer and rank up what what, what was uh, good and what was bad. I mean, re really at the heart of all this, all of the memes were bad. Memes in general are shit, uh, but we're, we're trying to see the silver lining in this dark, pollutinous cloud, these black plumes of smoke uh, that are currently hovering over mainstream culture and making everybody regret life just a little bit, a, a little bit more. Let's kick it off with the, with the five worst memes of the year, ordered from uh, least worst to most worst. Obviously, uh, these are just five memes, so there are probably uh, memes that also could have made this list, but didn't want to bore you guys to death with a bunch of shitty meme, 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 meme. memes. And number five, we have PPAP, Pen Pineapple app, Apple Pen. Uh, this meme is just a silly, dumb little viral song. It's it's barely a meme. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, it's it's nonsensical. Obviously, that's part of the humor. But the thing is, it's it's not even really that funny. And also, when you look back into the history of this meme and you look beyond the meme, uh, you look behind the meme rather, uh, you actually see that there's a bit of a paper trail to this meme. And that is that this entire video is just left-wing propaganda. The DNC put this video together in order to distract you from the Pizzagate hashtags on Twitter and all the Podesta emails up there proving that there is a child sex trafficking ring going on in DC right now, happening in a whole bunch of pizza places. The truth is out there, everyone. The truth is out there. At number four, the fourth worst meme of this year is Scarce, uh, who is uh, a YouTuber who is thick. He's a thick boy. He talks about non-news items on, on YouTube, uh, YouTube drama for the most part. There are all sorts of memes about him being fat and boring, and he, he's not even really that fat. Um, I, I don't know why he always top buttons the top button on his <laughs> on his flannels. It's kind of weird. I've, I've done that too, and I regret it. Just like I regret having even made a video about Scarce to begin with. At number three, it's, it's damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Don't, don't show any clips of this meme, because if we do, this video is going to get a copyright strike. This video is going to get claimed. And that is part of the reason why this video is a gigantic cancer on YouTube. Not just because it's a stupid inside joke that doesn't even, it's, 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 it's not even funny to you. Stop pretending that you think it's funny. Like, obviously it's funny to the kids taking part in it because it's their little fun inside joke and inside jokes are cool, but you're not in on their inside joke. So stop sitting there pretending like you get it, like you think it's funny. It's not your inside joke. I think it's silly and that's totally cool, but I'm not gonna sit here and laugh at something that I don't get. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I get it because I don't. It's not my inside joke. But anyway, the management company that seems to have uh, raised raised its ugly, uh, tumorous head on the internet thanks to this video is that what Merlin writes, Merl Merlin, Merlin sup crap. crap. Screw them, uh, y you guys really need to uh, t take a seat, take a break, stop doing what you're doing. Thank you. And number two, uh, w worst memes of the year, uh, Chewbacca mom. This is a dumb, annoying Facebook mom meme. It's not even really uh, so much a meme as much as it is a viral video. And um, I, I guess in a sense it is a meme, but only within, you know, sort of these uh, total meme pleb circles where people, you know, don't really mem that much. And the worst thing about this meme is that this meme caused an uptick in sales of these dumb Chewbacca masks, uh, which of course created a, a larger demand for uh, third world child labor. They lose their fingers in the machines. Because you need a stupid mask. Terrible, Terrible meme. And uh, the number one worst meme of 2016 is... Harambe!
This meme died faster than the gorilla it was about. about. And it did not die with dignity either. God, every, everybody was trying to stick it in this meme, man. Everybody. This meme died really dumb, too. Like, thousands of people uh, wrote in Harambe uh, into into their uh, into their election ballots this, this past November. And the meme is also a reminder of just how shitty mankind can be. You know, it's not so much the situation in the meme that makes this meme so detestable, but just how crappily everybody seems to have handled it this year. And that's that's my worst list. That's that's my worst list. Moving on to the top five best memes of the year. Uh, we have our, our good friend Arthur, the Arthur memes. Though specifically, let, let's talk about the Arthur fist. Um, I, I just put this meme here to snub Spongegar to uh, piss everybody off who wanted me to put Spongegar on this list. At number four, it's it's Trigglypuff. Trigglypuff is a good uh, sosh just meme, and uh, she's, she's fighting for your rights. She wants to keep hate speech off of your campus. There are lots of fun little revisions of her uh, lo looking like a sweaty pig. Oh wait, this, this, is just, this is just a regular picture of her. 2016 has been loaded with videos of people making complete fucking asses of themselves on camera. And there are very few videos that top the, uh, the Trigglypuff video. Ugh. All I can do is, is hope that 2017 brings on heaps and heaps loads more of cringe. At number three, it's we are are number one and sort of the, uh, the the series of fun edits that have been placed throughout the year where you sort of take a video and then you replace a particular thing in the video with some other bullshit. God, these are the acupuncture therapy of memes. They're so repetitive, hypnotic, meditative. Sitting through an entire video where some bullshit from the B-movie script is replaced by some other bullshit from some other video that you're watching, it's kind of disorienting. It's almost psychedelic. It's mind-altering in a way. Few memes and online jokes have been this strangely postmodern, although not every one of them is is a reason to celebrate. Uh, the nutshack memes are certainly <laughs> total shit and cancerous, although, you know, we do have to kind of give it to them. They, they, in a big way, they did kind of kick this off a little bit, the, the, the trend, the hype for this anyway. <laughs> Shout out to Siva Gunner. At number two, it is a green frog. No, not Pepe, because that's a dead meme. That's an old meme, uh, which which apparently has recently turned white supremacist. No, I'm talking about Dat Boy, that little bastard frog hanging out on a unicycle. I love Dat Boy because he represents good vibes, happiness, individuality, talent. Just looking at this meme raises your IQ points, and I've heard that some people have successfully used this meme as an aphrodisiac, too. <laughs> Get you hard. This is really the meme world's wonder drug, uh, from what I understand. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Dat Boy see some kind of renaissance moving into the future. Uh, and finally, the number one meme of 2016. Is, is it confused Mr. Krabs? Is it some kind of Simpsons bullshit? Is it that thing where I said my face when the pussy was too good? Is it, is it Le Monk? It ain't none of that. The number one meme of the year is me. Man, I can't believe I made number one on the list. It, you know, it was a lot of deliberation, but after really thinking about it and consulting with the meme tribunal, we all kind of came together and agreed, I'm the best meme of 2016, guys. Number one. We're number one. You know, I mean, honestly, the, I'm just a meme fucking machine. Best teeth in the game, the squat, the yellow flannel, fucking uh, Marx debunked blank years ago. I mean, you know, in my defense, not every one of my memes has lasted throughout the year. Quite a few memes at this point that, that, I've, that I've farmed have died. Certainly a lot of people think I'm destroying my career doing this. <laughs> and they, they might be right. But you know what? Money, success, credibility, none of that matters when you could, when you could wear, wear the medal of, of meme queen. When my grandkids are all starving and addicted to at least several different substances and leading terrible lives, they will at least be able to look back and say, with integrity, my grandfather was a, uh, a shitposting weirdo who um, was a normie memer piece of trash. And that that's the legacy I'm hoping to pass down. Thanks, memes. I wouldn't have, couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, memes. And that has been the, the meme list. The best and worst memes of 2016. Let's look forward to 2017 being full of way more memes. Here's an outro. Hey, buddy. It's 
meme. Reviews. <laughs> That's knocking at your door. I watch him anyway. Fuck you. Brooke, will you marry me? 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 Brooke, will you marry me?